Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of my tutorial on formatting your novel for CreateSpace using Scrivener, the awesome $40 piece of software that if you are a writer you really need to have. Uh, once again I am formatting The Bialy Pimps by Johnny B. Truant, um, which again is a fantastic book, my favorite book of the last uh, four or five years that I've read and um, highly recommend you go pick it up and you should go pick up the print copy because if you're watching this it's probably already going to be available on uh, Amazon. So um, in the first part I formatted the body of the book. In other words the actual text of the story itself. So going all the way from page one, book one, works a bitch and I formatted all the way up until the end. Now I finished formatting the body of the book off camera because it was you know a tedious process of an hour or so and uh, didn't think that you'd be interested in watching that. So this is the end of the entire book and everything's good. Um, again the most important points that you want to check is that your chapters and your sections start on a page uh, on an odd numbered page because that means that they'll be on the right um, so, you know, this chapter ends and you'll put in a blank page so that your next chapter begins on an odd numbered page. Uh, and I explained all of that in the first part of the tutorial. So, the final thing that you want to check for your body to be done is that the whole thing has an even number of pages. Um, your, each, each section of your book needs to have an even number of pages because then that means that if the body ends on page 373, then the back matter, the note from the author and all that sort of thing, will start on 373, uh, an odd number, which means that it will be on the right side of the book. So, and our, as you can see, our body ends on 372, so that's perfect. So now we're going to format the front matter. Um, I'm going to change this up just a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, because this is the full title page. Um, and I think it's appropriate to have it be a little bit larger. Um, I'm fine with the, you know, the font. That's what was uh, given to me. Uh, I'm going to move it up a little bit because on the page view it looks like it should be able to just a little bit higher. So that's there. Title page. Okay, good. And then we've got a blank page because if you open it up and you see a title page, then on the other side you should have a blank page. Then there's the ded dedication. This is for Robin. She knows why. I don't know why. And I don't know who Robin is. But then again, on the back of the dedication, you're going to want another uh, blank page. And then there's finally a note from Johnny, which is hilarious. Um, but if you can't read that due to resolution or whatever, well then I guess you're just going to have to go buy the book, which, by the way, is available for Kindle if you don't want to shell out for the print copy, but you should. Now, what's missing is that we need another intentionally blank because the note needs to be blank on the other side as well because like I said each section needs to be um, what do you call it an even number of pages so I duplicated the intentionally blank I put it down there and now we're gonna compile our front matter compile alright so we're no longer compiling the body of the book so I'm gonna deselect all of this um, I want page breaks before each of these things, title, intentionally blank, dedication, intentionally blank, note, intentionally blank, all those things get page, bre uh, page breaks before, and they're all compiling as is, because I want them to come out exactly the way that I put them in. Oh, I forgot one thing. So I'm going to include all these in compile, but then I'm going to put a half title. Half titles are the things that usually come into the book right before um, uh, right before you actually get to the book itself. So I'm going to shrink that down to 22 point font and then of course I need another intentionally blank after that one. Um, if you look at most professionally printed books they have you, you open up the front cover and you get the title page very large and then there's the copyright page, the author's note, all that sort of stuff and then there is this little half title to begin the book. So now we'll go back to compile Hold on, let me, just for clarity's sake, because I'm a little bit OCD, name this half title. And now we'll go to compile. And it's already selected because it was a duplicate of the other one, so this looks good. Now, if you formatted your body first, 
you have headers and footers. You uh, probably, you, you might want to get rid of these. If you have a long author's note or something like this. In this case, we don't need to get rid of them because the, the headers will not be included on single pages and everything in our front matter is a single page. So I'm not, I'm not going to get rid of them, but it's possible that you may compile and see headers and footers. Uh, and if you do, you just need to come in here to page settings and get rid of them under header and footer and facing pages. Uh, but since I'm not going to do that, I'm going to compile. And then this one is going to be named 01 Bialy Front. And it's 01 simply for the so that the files sort in the right order by name. Boom. Nice little eight page thing. We're going to go over here, open up the file, double check it. There's our title page, a blank page, the acknowledgement, the blank page, the note, the blank page, and the half title, the blank page. Your front matter is done. It's that simple. And we will go from that final blank page to the beginning of our body, which will be on the right. There you go. Simple, right? Well, the back matter is just about that simple, too. And we're going to pop down and do that now. All right, so we've got an author's note. Um, the author's note. <laughs> the author's note. First of all, is uh, size 12. So I'm going to size it down so that it's the same size as the rest of the book. Then, just like before, I'm going to go into uh, spacing and do at least 11 point and line height one because no reason for it to be uh, uh, space and a half. Um, okay, and then I'm just checking this. This author's note is an even number of pages, which means that, oh, wait, hold on. One more thing. First line indent. Ooh. First line indent for everything except the top is going to be first line quarter of an inch instead of a half inch. Okay, so that didn't change the page number. So we've got one two, three, four pages. That means that I don't need to add an intentionally blank after it because we want it to be four pages so that this will start on page five. Now this is get free books. Uh, that is obviously one page so I do need an intentionally blank here. I'm going to duplicate it from elsewhere and put it after get free books. So then we've got get free books, a blank page. Also by Johnny B. Truant is another, is a uh, Oh, you know what? This one is not going to be in the print version of the book because it says visit my Amazon page by clicking here. Okay, well, how we're going to handle that... And on this one as well. So this Get Free Books, it says click here to join my author's email list. Now, since this is a print book, obviously, we're going to change that to go here to join my author's email list because... Uh, you can't click on a print book. Switch the formatting to match the rest of the book real quick. Do the same here. Okay, and then we're going to visit Amazon, Johnny's Amazon page by typing on this link. I think that his phone is about to cut out. Whose phone? Yours. Oh. I've been calling you repeatedly. Oh, good. It, Sweetie, it we're, we, are, we are actually on YouTube right now. Hi. You are? Mm -hmm. Well, we were supposed to leave at 6.30. Oh, cool. Give me a couple minutes. What d define a couple minutes? <laughs> a couple of minutes. Yes. Say hi to my wife, everybody. Couple means two. This will be edited out of the final <laughs> tutorial. I'm literally going to be done in a couple of minutes. Do you want to just stay there and watch I'm, me? I'm timing you. I wish that my camera was broadcasting because then I could have you dance behind me and drive up some ratings. It's not though. Don't worry. Okay, so we've gone to Amazon's Johnny B. Truant page. I'm going to copy this link. Uh, I wish it were a little bit prettier. I want to see if I can delete that stuff and still have it 
Nope. Okay. So that is going to need to be the actual link that we put in the book. Go to my Amazon page at this link. And because it's prettier, I'm going to center this. And because it's linked, so that's not going to look very good in the print version. So we're going to unlink that. And you know what? I'm going to do that on free books too. And I forgot to make this smaller. Forgot to make this smaller. Okay, and about the author, I'm going to make him smaller. Line spacing. And there you go. Okay, so now we're going to check our pages again. So the author's note uh, was four pages. We're happy with that. This is a single page, so we follow it up with an intentionally blank. Uh, also by Johnny B. Truant is a single, and we're going to follow that up. And then about the author is a single, so we're going to follow that up. Because, again, we want the back matter section to be an even number of pages. So that's ready to go. We're going to hit compile. We're going to go over our contents. We're going to go with authors, get free books, da, 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 include all these things, page breaks before everything. And that's it. Hit compile. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. That author's note has multiple pages, and that means that we need to get rid of our headers because we don't want page numbers on the author's note. So now we've gotten rid of those, and now we hit compile. And this one's going to be 03 Bialy back. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to open up Bialy back to double check it. And here it is, author's note. That goes on. Oh, that only goes on for three pages. Huh. I wonder why that is. It looked like four in the book. Okay, so we need to add an intentionally blank before that page. See, this is why you verify these things. Um, so we're going to duplicate you. We're going to put you after the author's note. And we're going to compile again. double check that it's in the contents and there you go compile that's done go to preview and here we go author's note blank page and then our first ad starts on five so that's perfect so there you go. So now we've got three PDFs that are all designed to work together. And uh, now, I bet you're thinking, well, now what? Because CreateSpace only takes one PDF. Well, if we go to PDF, if we search PDF Joiner, PDFJoin.com, there it is. Go to PDF Join, choose file. Hey, sweetie, you want to say hi to YouTube? Okay, choose our file. We go to Dropbox, Books, BP for Bialy Pimps, Print Files, Bialy Front, and Open. 
Then we go to Bialy body and Bialy back. And then we click join. And that joins them into a single PDF. It's really that simple. You can see it uploading right here. and it sends it to you as a download. So now I've got join document number four. Pop that sucker open. And we're done. That's it. There's the title page. There's the dedication. And as we go on in, our book starts on an odd number page. We already know that that means that all of our chapters are going to start on odd numbered pages too. And you've got a done book. So that was it. As you can see, it's very simple. Um, it is somewhat tedious in the formatting stage, but that's how you can use Scrivener to format uh, your novel for CreateSpace. So this has been Garrett Robinson, author of Hit Girls, Non-Zombie, and The Touch Trilogy, all of which are formatted and available on Amazon through CreateSpace. Um, and now, very shortly, the Bialy Pimps will be as well. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And see you for the next one.